So I thought about putting together a gift basket for a caregiver. I have several friends and relatives that are going through or have just gone through caring for an elderly parent or a sick parent. And I know how stressful it is because I was a caregiver myself for my father at the end of his life. So I thought about putting together a gift basket that would help you know, a caregiver with things that they may not take time to do for themselves. Maybe they're not eating right. Maybe they're not staying hydrated. Those kinds of things as, you know, they're taking care of everybody else. Sometimes they're not taking care of themselves. So I'm just going to show you some of the things that I thought to put in this and then I'll show you, you know, how I put it together. So I picked up just some little embellishments, butterflies. I don't know, butterflies are always just a nice symbol for me. And I know they're a nice symbol for a lot of people, so that's why I chose those. And then I got this cute pen, because if you're gonna write, you might as well write with something cute. But it says, I got this, you know, because so many times care groups are juggling everything, like I said. And this is just something that helps them remember and keep a positive mindset that they have this. Now, there are lots of things that maybe they're feeling emotions they're feeling. So I thought this is a nice little journal. It says notes on it, but they could put not only notes in it, but you know, journal their feelings because there are a lot of feelings. There are feelings also while they're taking care of somebody, they're, even if it's a close family member, they have, may have guilt about the family members like their own children and spouse that they're not spending as much time with. And maybe writing that down can help them. So I thought this journal would be a nice addition to the basket. And then a nice mug with a saying, you know, enjoy the small things, could help them relax, along with some calming herbal tea, just some inspiration for them. So this says today is going to be awesome because again, getting in the mindset can help so much. And then because they are, you know, such wonderful people, I just saw this and I thought she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. It just was fitting and I think it it's just nice so I, I thought I'd include that and then many times they're running around and not getting enough nutrition so these are just some dried fruits and nuts and um, yogurt raisins and some trail mix that came in handy little bags so I thought I'd include that and then of course we all need a little chocolate sometimes so got some chocolates some else and then um, it's such great therapy, actually, and relaxing to color. I mean, it's becoming more and more popular. So I got this really nice adult coloring book with lots of different pages they can color in. And then I got them an assortment of felt tip and gel pens to go along with that. And then this cup that they can put all those pens in so they have something to put it in and then you're on their feet all day and this is a refreshing foot soak so I thought about that you know for that and staying hydrated I saw these sparkling waters so I've got a couple of those and then also a water bottle so they can use that and stay hydrated and then just a container or basket, whatever you want to put everything in. Okay guys, so here I have it all together. And you know, it's chock full, but I like it chock full. I could put a plastic on it, but I don't think I would. I think I would just, you know, make a visit and just place it on their counter like this. I was able to carry it across my kitchen, so I'm not worried about it. I put the mug in here and I filled it with many, many bags of this um, herbal tea that I have, put the journal in there, all of the pens, the cup made a nice place to hold the pens and a nice place for her to have the, you know, to her to store the pens after she's opened them. Today is going to be awesome, it is right on the top so she can see that right away. And then I have the sparkling waters, the snacks, the foot soak, the other canvas, behind it, the pen, the coloring book, the water bottle, and all of that, and the little butterfly. So 
it takes you know literally less than five minutes it's really don't stress over so much about how everything is arranged you know it's just going to be what she's going to see when she comes in and after a day hard day you know something like that just just the remembrance from a friend or a family member can make a big difference plus it's going to have nutrition hydration something to soak her feet at night and color and relax and a little a few little things to remind her that today's going to be awesome and that she's leaving that sparkle wherever she goes so i hope this was helpful guys and you know i hope it's helped you think of maybe a caregiver you would like to spread a little cheer to to let them know that they're being awesome